What would be your idea to solve this problem? Um, ideally, get rid of the street furniture and the bikes. Um, move the bikes elsewhere. Or find a way of actually putting them here that, where they don't stick out so much. Yeah. Particularly if you're a cane user. If you're blind and you're using a cane, suddenly you just come to something and you go to actually find your way around. It can be very confusing having stuff all over the place. Street furniture in general is, is either usually black or grey. Yeah. I suppose there are reasons for that, but to help it, uh, people to see it better, um, what they can do is put a, um, a white stripe around it, or yeah, perhaps two or three white stripes around it, as they've actually done in the city of Oxford on a, on a lot of stuff. Right. Um, when I walk on Cady Road, I feel very annoyed that half the shops got half their goods all over the path. Right. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, if you parked your, your shop bike, because I worked for a shop then, a Cady Road then, delivering when I was still at school, and I had strict orders, either leave the bike on the road or bring it back into the shop. But if you left it on the path, you were in trouble. A bike. Now they've got half a shop halfway across the path. Right. And I mean, that, that must at least, apart from obstructing the footpath, that must contravene the health and safety. All those shoes, dirt, dust, dog ends, all, all going on that produce. Would you feel safe on the Cowley Road? It depends how far I have to go in the camera. Okay, I see. You wouldn't feel very safe going, say, by yourself up to, say, the bingo hall? No. Okay. Because I'm brought, brought up here and all that, I know the whole community, all different race people I know, so in that way I don't feel insecure, I do feel secure. There will always be a few hotheads around, probably high as kites, but um, again that's part of, the, of the, 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 the charm of Cowley Road basically. What about other people in your community? Do you, do you, get, do you hear from people that they feel a bit unsafe or worried? They do, yes. The ones that don't speak English, yes they do. Really? They just feel uns really insecure and they're, they're scared of like, you know, the pubs? Yeah. The pubs because of the Bullingdon and there's, there's too many pubs um, around here. When people come out of the pubs? Pubs, so yeah. Bit, sort of they're scared they're being attacked, yeah. Kids come from mosques, some of them have to walk home on their own. So, yeah, I think some cameras will help. Yeah, that's because some, someone's, some people have suggested outside the pubs there should be cameras. There should be cameras, yeah, yes. I think idea. that's a good idea. So, Linda. Do you want to just say again about some drivers? Is it on the, on, is it on the buses that you experience that? Yeah. Yeah? And some of them are not very, very nice. Yeah. So what, yeah. what would you like to see made a better? Would you like the buses to treat people more nicely? Yeah. Treat people more nicely. And what else? Have respect. Have respect. Well, I hardly use the buses because me, me, me I've got too. bad, got sciatica, arthritis in both knees, and it's difficult for me. So I use taxi and I do a little walking. I don't know which bus has got the low one and which bus has got the high one. It's not too bad getting on, but it's hard getting off because some of the drivers don't give you enough time to get off. Sorry, I'm, I'm not sure on my legs. So you're